everyone welcome to another episode of independent artists unite song series a very special episode tonight with my true brother kid barrett talking about the beautiful song that he wrote for his sister what's and, up man uh, how are you how yeah you doing? Man, i guess it's gonna get heavy tonight man yeah, you know, but uh, at the same time, light, you know, because that's kind of what I wanted too with the song, you know, to kind of yeah. like, you know, it's like beauty has to come from from the from the darkness, you know, mm. from the shadows, and there is a lightness to the song. Actually, there is a playfulness and a lightness there. Yeah, yeah, and you know what? That I I basically i owe that to her being such a like beautiful light soul you know mm. and being such a like light in my life um you know one of my few phone calls throughout the year that i would just sit there and talk with her for hours you know yeah so the fact that i could just bounce back and forth on creativity is like i could i could sense that from her wanting me to keep going and creating you know mm. yeah so it's it, to to not create to not keep going and not create would be a disservice to her you know yeah yeah for sure so this is yeah so do, do, I do, you, mind, do you mind do you mind telling the story of like what happened in case people don't know you and don't know uh what um, happened with your sister well you know my sister well i've i have um five i'm the middle child of five siblings and this was my little sister my you know the last one mm. and she um through the last couple years she had some medical problems and like had some surgeries and stuff and um last minute just really like it was very sudden um you know something happened very sudden she ended up in a coma and you know just didn't come back from that basically mm. and it was really tough on you know it's really tough when um don't really get to say goodbye to someone you know mm. or like have that final goodbye and stuff so all i have was like that final conversation but luckily you know the last time i spoke with her we were on the phone for hours, just hours. It's so weird, right? Like the last yeah. time we actually spoke on the phone was for hours. And to the point where we had nothing else to talk about, mm. we were just like, okay, uh, well, you know, like I got to get going, you know? Uh, so it was just, um, but yeah, you know, I'm thankful. I'm thankful uh, for the years I had. She was uh, six years younger than me. She, she was 25 at the time. And so very young. Mm. very bright very creative soul that we lost so mm. i'm just you know it's it's taken me some time um i mean everyone mourns different you know and uh yeah my family uh has been mourning for sure and we just you know like i said the thing about her was always like love you mm. know free being free and she was mm. very hippie and like you oh, know yeah. super long curly hair and like always wearing like these like flowy clothes just like earth tones and just yeah. being very natural just a little, you know? earth, a little oh. earth mother yeah <laughs> exactly exactly and so every time we would link up it's just like and she was the type of person that would just like cry of happiness she, there was mm. always like tears in her eyes even when she was happy like so i i take from that i take from that a lot that mm. you know don't be scared to show your emotions even just if it's like even if you want to cry of happiness like do it like that's mm. it's be it's beautiful to release that that energy out into the world because i don't know keeping it inside it really does nothing for you you know <laughs> i think that's true and in fact probably does a lot of negative things to you yeah for that's, sure that, for that's sure. my belief for sure definitely so, but so when you you know i mean um we we must have talked before that I'm also one of five kids, right? There's no way that I haven't brought. That oh up. no way! Yeah. I think I don't think so. <laughs> but I I am the youngest of five. Yeah. Oh wow, I mean, that's oh. yeah. So it's the baby, I the baby, up, the grew up, grew up with that uh, kind of uh, hustle and bustle in the mm -hmm. house that you, you know, know only, only get with those numbers. <laughs> oh yeah, for sure. <laughs> um, but then also, yeah, I mean, too, you know, in my family, well, I mean, I was. You know, having a lot of problems but um you do because there's so many kids in a situation like that you 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 do you look out for your younger siblings oh, right yeah. it's like a, it's a special relationship if you have like if she's younger and you know you're you're the older oh yeah that, yeah like, so that makes to that me, makes it yeah even more special kind of relationship 
for sure and uh was there a sibling that you were like really close to like well the, the thing is i even my youngest uh, uh sister is still four years older than i am oh, okay so i always joke that i had five moms you know not <laughs> oh, okay yeah, yeah. oh yeah <laughs> well uh -huh. it's, it's, because my mom was you know my mom was not I, I, my sisters were much better moms than my mom was I'll i say see what that. you're saying like they they were help for sure they took the up the people. slack for sure uh-huh for sure i get it <laughs> And you know what's funny on my side, my my older sister, who's just two years younger than me. I mean, sorry, older than me. Mm. Um, she would take care of us. She would babysit. Mm. You know, like she was the one that would feed us and stuff. Sometimes, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. so uh, we learned to just like listen to whoever the older one. You know, like if the older one, mm -hmm. it basically like we started respecting each other. You know. Yeah. Um, but with her, the relationship I had with her was really cool because like. She has two brothers, my younger brother and I, but I was, I think she followed a lot after me, you know, and just being, mm. being kind of an oddball and just um, challenging the norm, you know? <laughs> so yeah, I was, well, I, I was wondering how, how it is like throughout your family, because I would like how you're describing her. I can see the matchup there where you two are like these yeah. free spirits and connected to the natural world and kind of, uh, you know, oh, yeah. Like spiritual, and you know what's funny? spiritual people, you know. Well, out of all of us, okay. So my older brother lives in Guatemala, and he's mm. uh, he just my mom had him there before she came to the U.S., and he sadly didn't wasn't able to come with her. Um, uh, you know, he has his own family now. He's older than us, and mm. he has his own family now. So he basically it lives there now. You know, mm. uh, now my older sister is here, and. So my older sister and my and my younger brother are a little bit more similar. Like they like to work, they like to you know do their own thing. Mm. It's not. It's more like how how can I explain it? Like my sister, you know, she's more likely to be the manager of a place than mm. and and I'm, you know what I'm saying? Like yeah, she yeah, has that yeah. mentality. But here's the thing: she's is like, like a we're boss all lady. Very, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we all kind of like have our own thing going on. But I feel like, mm. like I said, with her and I, we were more like the artists and the mm. creators and stuff. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. we immediately you had this real that. connection like that. Yeah, yeah. For, for sure. sure. So so when you're go, I mean, of course, you feel, you know, you need to write a song for her. I mean, that's what we do, right? That's that's what yeah. uh, how we make it through everything. But uh what elements, you know, did you find yourself uh, thinking, ah, I want to kind of represent her in this way and in this way, and maybe with this with the music and this with a you know things that yes. she like so there's you know? a whole like pro there was a whole process to it because when it happens like I mean losing someone that's so close to you mm. it's um i i can be honest with you i was stuck for like two weeks just like in this like mm. in the air type vibe and like not really caring what time it was if i ate if i mm. you know like just very mm. numb is the feeling you know very numb mm. and 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 it's it's a it's a trip man i was I was basically doing a lot of songwriting right before this happened. I had just played the Viper Room, mm -hmm. you know, so I was like feeling like, you know, uh, I think I not recently, like kind of recently dropped Robot Vampires, you know, so mm -hmm. I was just kind of on a roll. I was just with you, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And so um, that I, I was stuck for like two weeks and I couldn't even pick up the guitar, man. Like it didn't mm -hmm. even feel right to like, yeah. usually when I'm, you know, I'm chilling, I'll just pick up my guitar, tune it up, mm -hmm. strum mm -hmm. it and just mess around. And that, that makes me feel good, you know? And, I didn't even want to pick up the guitar and that to me felt like whoa like some mm. you know some's definitely off but i gave myself yeah. the time that i needed to process yeah exactly um, went, went to see my family um you know uh got got some of her things brought them with me so like you know like just feeling a little giving myself the time to cope doing the th uh, talking to my other siblings and just making sure we're locked in because um like i told you it feels like this little girl just put love right mm. back into everyone's hearts, you know? Yeah. I mean, you know how the world is. We've talked about mm. it before. Like it can harden you just mm. all these things happening all around us. And I could say that, yeah, maybe I was being a little hard before, like feeling hard, mm. you know? Yeah. yeah, yeah. And yeah. she just kind of like broke my shell down and like, you know, mm. um, you don't have to be so hard. You can, we can love each other. We can like move mm -hmm. through problems with love, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, let's just say, yeah, like she bonded a lot of our family back together. So I did all my grieving. And then eventually I was like, you know, I want to do something for her. I want to do yeah. something creative for her. Yeah. And yeah. Um, but I want to do it not in a way where 
uh i'm gonna listen to this song and feel like oh man like like it's gonna be a bummer every time i hear it you know yeah I'm not, yeah exactly. you're in the moment of sadness you're gonna be like oh man i feel like sh you know i feel like shit i feel like mm. this and that but it's like um if you can actually I, I wanted to make something that more as a celebration of life yeah and um <clears throat> basically explaining how I feel so mortal, you know, like, or my little human feelings, but then now you're actually like in a better place. So mm -hmm. I should be happy. You know, I should, I should know these things, but my little human brain wants me to grieve, you know, and mm -hmm. wants me to be in the pain. So what I did, man, like I really, and another thing, I didn't even want to listen to music. That was pretty weird, man. Like, mm. but eventually I just started listening to music oh, yeah, again. My little friend here. Like, to say hi oh to beautiful oh <laughs> gorgeous baby so cute started listening to music too you know i started getting back in my mojo after like i you know like i said i went and did a couple things that made me feel better yeah. and um and i don't even ask how but like i just started getting back into my sessions and you know slowly you know messing around and before you knew it i had this like oh so oh i started writing again I, I finally got into like, okay, I want to write something for her, for her. So mm -hmm. I started writing poems first <clears throat> mm -hmm. and those were super like, you know, those were heavy. Those mm -hmm. were super like, if you thought this song was heavy, like it, it, they were really heavy. And I was like, wow, that's like a lot, you know, that's mm -hmm. a lot that like, like I was telling you earlier, I'm going to like cry every time I read this, like mm -hmm. sing it, you know? Mm -hmm. So I kept writing, kept writing, kept writing. I'm like, I want something that's more uplifting uplifting mm -hmm. we're gonna uplift mm -hmm. from the situation you know yeah um, so i wrote i i wrote like about like six to seven songs for her wow and this is the one that i had to so there was two at the end there was this one and another one that was called enter the void which i'm still mm. gonna release so keep an eye out for that one it's called yeah. enter the void but this one's more about like i don't know if you've have you seen that movie enter the void i'm sure you have uh super art house movie. i don't i don't i don't know i don't know but my you so, know I i'll have give you like a quick my memory so yeah, it's but... basically like a brother and a sister living in um I, if i'm not mistaken japan or hong kong i forget okay. but it's like it's really trippy like it's the process of like one of the siblings dying and then they're able to like look at everything and like look at their sibling through look at the past mm. life look at their future like it's really trippy and oh, so it's wow. kind of based on that, like sibling, you know, that connection through siblings yeah, yeah, yeah. after death, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. so, but um, I, I the, and this one was very like inspired by like, like that twin tribes, the almost like super like dramatic, you know, like, where'd you go? I feel so cold, mm. you know, like, oh, I just, yeah, 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 yeah. like ripping it from your heart, you know? So mm. I had this one, but this one came out super like, post-punk this one's a very like post-punky yeah, song yeah so that's kind of i was like oh and you know what's the weirdest thing is like i wasn't even trying to write a post-punk song mm. it's just when you're in those feelings you you kind of like lean into that yeah, yeah, yeah. That pain, and what, that what kind of what kind of music did she like was did that affect um, my sister uh was more into like she likes hip-hop erica badu and like bob mm. marley like i'm telling you like super just <laughs> yeah. and and to be honest like i don't know if i've said that before bob marley is like a huge influence on me mm. just like stage performance and presence and mm -hmm. branding and image you know like mm -hmm. it, i love bob marley and you know smoking a little weed why not mm -hmm. uh, you know i love bob marley yeah. uh point being that she was i I was gonna, and it, you're right. Like I was gonna, I wrote some songs that are a little different. Some that are mm -hmm. more like, oh, this sounds like more like her style. But you know, like I was talking about the post punk stuff. Like post punk is about that. It's about being in the sh being in the pain and like yeah. you know finding the light in the pain in the mm -hmm. darkness. Mm -hmm. And so I felt this was perfect. This was a perfect one. Uh, uh, once I figured out that it's a post punk song, I like leaned more into it. You know mm -hmm. and mm -hmm uh i had it very layered with vocal like i had whenever i do my vocals like i i think you you're a fan of this and you do this a lot where you have a low take you have a yeah. mid take and then maybe like a falsetto <laughs> take you know mm -hmm. and i like to layer my stuff and james is always good at that um at cutting out a lot of the excess stuff when it doesn't really need to be there and it gives me a second 
listen to it like oh like the verses were just one vocal like boom you know mm. right in your face yeah and honestly and i really like that too yeah it, we were talking about that like james really yeah. loves this song by the way like uh he did a great job mixing a mat if if i yeah. show you i talked the demo, about it. yeah yeah the demo sounds not my demos sound nothing like my final products after i work with james you know yeah so well he, I, he he told me this is i think this is the best song that kid has ever done because he said he also said oh because we we were we just finished one too he said because i think he thinks that's the best one i've ever done he said and this is the best one the kids too, ever done so song. it's like we're we're, we're uh you know we're tapping into something that yeah. that belongs to us you know and it's uh, i think just the fact that we're really focusing on ourselves and I feel like that's where it's at, you know, mm. you, 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 I don't know. Your work is great. I I love your recent, I mean, all your stuff, but you, I mean, we're, we've been doing it for a while now to the point where yeah. we're just kind of like getting co more comfortable with our instrument basically, you know? Yeah. 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 That's well, too, it and it, it's interesting what you said about the post-punk stuff too. I never thought about that before because it's like, um, I think the most successful kind of, songs that i really like are not these ones that are just so negative and this is just total shit and good night you know it's like yeah 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 and there's got to be something to it where yeah you know, even if, and if you like, notice what i did just, like even if it's just wrapping yourself in the pain being like this is this is part of life you know i'm exactly. living i'm living this then it's like you know it it, it takes you somewhere and it's inspiring for people to to hear too, you know. Like I can hear totally. that. I hear someone that's like, yeah, mourning, but also celebrating, like you said, you know. Exactly. I wanted to celebrate it. I wanted people to not only hear the pain that I'm feeling, but also know that man, she's she's good, and she's you know, mm. wh whatever you believe in, whether it be religion or spirituality or. Like she moved on to the next place that we're all yep. going to go to, Yeah, you know, yeah. and yeah. we're all going there. So, and it's just, some of us get there sooner. It's unexpected. Yeah. And you know, I'll say something, a little tidbit about the song. Um, I don't know if you realize the title, Sinti. Yeah. I didn't know. Is that a nickname that you had for her? Or? So Sinti me means without you in Spanish. Oh. Wow. Yeah. Without you. And, but her name is Cindy. So yeah. I go, Cindy, yeah. Cindy. Okay, yeah. I didn't know if maybe that was a nickname you had for her. I didn't no, know yeah, yeah, yeah. Spanish. Oh um, wow, yeah, that, that's, Cindy, that's gorgeous. If you look it up, it's yeah. it's just without you. Wow. You know? and Cindy, yeah, so course, and yeah. if you notice, I put it in the lyrics too. It's like without you. Yeah, and I, you know what's cool in the core? Uh, if you notice, it's like uh, the chorus is really funny because it's like Cindy, Cindy. Um, I feel they took a part of me, right? Like, like mm -hmm. I'm talking about myself. Like, oh, they took yeah, a part of me. Yeah, yeah. Um, you know, the world shook under me, and it's like, but now you're free. You mm -hmm. know, so it's, that's mm -hmm. the part where I wanted to flip it and be like, yeah, yeah, but it's not about me, and you know, it's about you, and you're in a better spot now. Yeah, and yeah, I feel yeah, like, yeah. you know, it sucks when someone deals with like medical stuff and you kind of see them like suffering and stuff. You know, yeah. uh, I did. You know, it it would sucks. It sucked when she would call me and tell me, you know, that she was like in pain and stuff. Like that's not never good to hear, you know, from someone mm -hmm. you love. So yeah. it's like what, you know, we have to understand as humans that you know we have to grieve, but we have to also remember the best times. Remember the the fact that we got to experience someone that great in our lives. You know, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. so it's amazing. And um. What I'm curious what your ideas, kind of metaphysical ideas are about life after death and did they change <laughs> at all uh, because of this experience of losing your sister um, and even of the experience of writing the song, you know? You know, that's a loaded, loaded one right there for sure. But I think, you know, my whole thing, I don't know if I've told you, I'm like obsessed with like, skulls and mm -hmm. like just right here next to me like i have like a couple skulls that mm -hmm. i'm just like so i've always been like super existential and mm -hmm. you know life after death it just intrigues me you know mm -hmm. uh since i was young i was into like egyptian culture and you know the fact that they mummify themselves for the afterlife and mm -hmm. you know um every culture is a little different i I'm very open, man. I'm I'm not super, I wouldn't say I'm like super religious, but I'm very spiritual mm -hmm. to where, like I said, I know she's around me. 
yeah. when she wants to be, you know, and when she feels like it. Yeah. And so to, such to the point where like um those two weeks where I was just numb and quiet, like I had been crying a lot, man, like just crying, crying. And mm. eventually I felt this like warmth behind me, like a hug from mm. the back. And I kind of felt like her hair, like mm. it was weird. It was literally like if my sister was hugging me from the back, I felt wow. this warm hug. And it just, after that, I couldn't cry anymore. It's almost like she just like put a stop to my tears. Mm. Like, don't cry anymore, you know? Like we're good. Like, and, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. Right. Like, you know, like I'm okay. Like, and, um, I dreamt, I had a dream, dude. I had a dream about her too. Um, it was pretty trippy. Um, and a lot of people, like my brother, all the men have had dreams of her. Like mm. basically she just came into us. Uh, I could tell you my experience was I went into a room and she was there as a child. Like what I remember her as a little kid, mm. like overalls. And she was like building a, a dollhouse out of wood. Like one of those like uh, nice wooden dollhouses, you know, those old school, mm-hmm. almost like vintage ones. Mm-hmm. And I came up to her and I, and I had told my, I had been waiting for this moment because I'm, I'm very tapped into my dreams and stuff. Uh, so I was waiting for a dream of her, you know, I was mm-hmm. just waiting. And I said to myself, I know that if I see her, the next time I see her dream or whatever it may be, I'm going to run up to her and just hug her, you know, mm. it doesn't matter. Cause also I can kind of like move around in my dreams. Sometimes it's like a little bit of like lucid dreaming type lucid stuff. Dreaming, yeah, yeah. And so I told myself, I'm going to run up to her if I see her, you know? Yeah. And sure enough, when I saw her there, I ran up to her, I even grabbed her and she was like, no, like she was like, cause they used to call me junior. I'm junior. I'm a junior. Mm. So she's like, junior, it's fine. Like, don't worry. Like I'm good. So I took that as like, like, or she was like, basically like she wasn't like acknowledging that she was gone, you know? So she was just like, what are you doing? Like freaking out? Like, why are you hugging me so hard? You know? Yeah, like I'm still like, existing here. I'm yeah. good. <laughs> Chill out. You know? So th- I took that as like, I'm good. Like, yeah. relax. You know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, cool. My dad had a trippy ass dream, dude. Um, My dad had a trippy dream where she called him and said oh. like, was explaining everything that went down in the hospital to her. Mm. Whoa, that one freaked us all out. Yeah. And it's like, she she was like, hey, dad, like, and my dad like said he knew it was her and she was like explaining like, you, did you see what happened to me and stuff? Like, it was, that's, that, I don't know, man. That girl is like moving around through the spirit world. So, and I think that's what I think. I, I don't think, I think that we have such a powerful energy that, and she created so many things. Like she had statues she made out of ceramic. Mm. She had like, uh, you know, sage, but uh, you know, bindles and everything she did. Like mm-hmm. she just created a lot of things. She used to yeah, make. Yeah, bad- she was connected to the spirit world already. Yeah, exactly. So I feel like she left a lot of her spirit here, and I feel yeah. like wherever we may go, we leave something behind. You know, and uh, I don't, I can't say exactly where I'm going, but out of all my ex- existential, like my existential crisis i basically just like figured out that we have no idea what's on the other side yeah. until we get there yeah. you know and i feel yeah, like well yeah i don't know if you, I, I don't know if i told you about this but i am like a me- i call myself an amateur metaphysician because i am i will okay. say i'll soak anything up man i'm like reading all right. audiobooks all the time everything yes you know well because i had this thing where i had this heart attack and died for 40 minutes came back you know Damn, so so that that became like a huge focus for me so i'm i'm like uh yeah i i mean i fully believe fully believe that we're just uh you know you you, you just have to tune her tune into her on a different frequency now it's just like uh picking up a different radio station you know exactly and then and, and that, that that's how it is i i don't understand why people can't believe that i'm always like well do you see radio frequencies Mm-hmm. You know, uh, you can tune into a certain station, right? Like, oh, yeah. Well, what then? What? How do you think that's possible? You can't see the frequency. It's just our our eyes can only see about like is like point zero zero five percent of mm-hmm. everything that exists. All the human eye can only see a very very small part of it. So, what makes you think that there's not mm-hmm. these things out there? I love the way and you that, just put I, it. Yeah. Like yeah. tuning in to a frequency, like to yeah, a different. Totally. I love that because that's basically what it is now. And with her, her and I have always been connected to nature. Like I've, I always have an animal around. Like I have cats. You know, I always have mm-hmm. an animal around me. 
um, and her always wanting to be in nature. So I always knew she was going to come back to me through nature. Mm -hmm. And so this one time we were hanging out and she was looking at the sky and like these two birds passed by and she's like, you know what? She's like, yeah. whenever I see two birds flying in the sky together, she's like, I always see them at these like moments. She's like, where it just makes me feel like, you know, I'm doing really good and I'm in, I'm on the right track, you know? And mm -hmm. so I always took that to heart. I was like, wow, she's so like, you know, she's, she's looking at the sky and, and since I'm a big Floyd fan, it's like the great gig in the sky, you know, there's always something happening in the sky, you know? Mm. And um, so I always took that to heart and you you would not believe the amount of like coupled birds that I mm. see, like right now looking out the sky, I'm seeing them. Like it's, it's something that's just been taking over. Mm. She completely like is tuned into that part. Mm. And like, the coolest part, like I wrote it in a post too, um, mm was when I was, James sent me the first, like we were, cause he, uh, <clears throat> I don't know. I think he said he's done this with only with you or we with you as well. This was a two draft song. Like he okay. sent me one draft. I gave him like baby amount of notes. Uh, and that <laughs> and was it, it's done. done. Yeah. And that was done. And and it was, a, <laughs> and we were fucking both so happy with it. Wow. But we gave it yeah. time in between to where we were, we were able to listen to it. And live with it sure a little bit. Yeah, we yeah, wanted. Yeah, 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 yeah. But right before he sent me that first draft, man, I kind of had a feeling it was coming, you know, and I was just kind of sitting looking at the sky. And then I look at my phone. And I'm like, oh, James, James, I, I, the message was there and I knew what it was going to be, you know, so mm. I was the draft. And so I put it on, put, put my headphones on and started listening to it. And immediately like a bunch of like paired birds started flying. It was insane, man. It was like really like that's like it was a flock of birds, you know, just like started flying. And I knew it was the final draft, you know. Mm -hmm. I was like, wow, I almost like started crying because I was like, she's always here, man. Mm -hmm. She's happy with it. She likes it. And see, that's that's yeah. every that's everything right there, man. That's mm -hmm. like that that is everything right there. As such a gift to be an artist, for you to be able to create like during this time, create this for her, have all these signs sure. along the way. I mean, what, that's most, that's, that's all that's, it is. That, that's the life of an artist. That's what? like, yeah. that's just like pure beauty, man. Thanks, man. And, and, and it's and, helped me a lot. It's helped me so much to just be able to like pour out my feelings and into something that looks like a water, you know, like a watercolor painting or something, you know, like mm, something mm. tangible that's like, man, it doesn't have to just stay inside. It can come outside and it can be observed. And we can mourn and we can just like, yeah. you know, live and it on. Can, live it on can on even be like a conduit, you know, for, for you guys to keep finding each other, you know, exactly. you can find each other in the, through this song and through nature. Oh, yeah, it's interesting. Man. Like a lot of readings I've done, it's, it's, um, you know, a lot of people, you know, I've, I've gone into a lot of like, um, uh, people that have died and come back from it, you know, since that yeah. happened to me. So I've researched a lot, a lot, a lot. And, um, it's interesting when people aren't spiritual people and they, they don't have, they're, they're basically not like your sister. They are, <clears throat> they're very confused. You know, they can, these can be people that turn into ghosts and stuff like that because yes. they're very confused about what's going on. But if you have a grasp on the spiritual while you're still mm -hmm. in this plane, in this mm -hmm. realm, then it's just like you said, when you That's met her, great, in, man. In you're this, uh, it's like you met her in the astral realm. Basically, it's like when we go to sleep, we go to the astral realm. That's like the fourth dimension, oh, yeah. or the third dimension now. And you can, and that's a meeting place, you know, that's a meeting place where you can meet spirits and stuff. So she totally met you there, but she knew how she already knew how to navigate that world because she's so spiritual, you know, when she was in this realm, you know? Oh yeah. She's so spiritual. And I love the way you're putting it because you're, man, you have so much knowledge on this topic because of what you went through. That's insane. I, I could appreciate that a lot. Might have to do a reading yeah. on me soon. <laughs> Like separately well, from separate off camera. Well, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not there yet, but I am trying to like develop these things, honestly, because oh, I yeah, feel man. like, uh, oops, I'm getting a little warning that the uh, time is almost up here. Um, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, no worries, man. We're doing, yeah, thank I, you for having, like, you know, this has been, I always love talking to you. I no, feel we sorry. So, oh, well, we got 10 more minutes still. That was just, yeah. the, they give a little 10 minute warning. Oh, yeah, um, 10 minute warning. But yeah, what was I going to say? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I, yeah, I'm trying to develop these things, you know. Like yeah for sure yeah. or whatever and really like studying these things because it's like so interesting to me 
It's like you, 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 like when you're talking about, oh, the birds and this and that, it's almost like you don't have to say, oh, what, what, what is that you believe in? Can you describe that thing you believe in? You, you don't have to. It's like when something happens, you feel it. Yes. And you're like, yes, no, I know I'm communicating with her right now. I yes. know she's those birds. I know this is yeah. happening. And you it's feel insane. it in your gut, you know, and you, 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 you have that intuition and you're open to it. And it's not, it's not, oh, I believe in this. It's, oh no, I'm experiencing this. This is what this it is. is real. And yeah, yeah, exactly. And you know, I, what I've learned cool. from this whole thing is on, the only people who, people who've gone through it, uh, understand what exactly what we're talking about mm. people who have gone through this little tunnel that we've talking about you know near death or death actual death mm. it's we're connected man we're always connected yeah. through blood like and through through whatever we can obviously totally and to you know actually something that came up recently was this idea of like soul families where um I, I i always think oh this must be real if i hear it from like five really like you know disparate sources you know and i think oh this is weird this information is coming We're to me. In. yeah yeah of like this uh soul family where so it could be your sisters your parents where you going through lifetime after lifetime after lifetime with these people and you're switching roles all the time That's and so stuff cool. like that you know and, you know until you're not until you're done you know but um until, yeah I, I really like that idea too um, yeah there's a bunch of cool like man like to think that, like I said, that we get to experience this moment with each other is like, wow, that's good enough, you know, for this. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's that's good enough for me. I think, you know, <laughs> honestly, it's well, it's a life is beautiful and it's dark as well. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it it is beautiful, but it's you know, I think you know when I, you know, so much of my history is like trying to like make it in the music business, you right, know, whatever right, that right. fucking means. And what I guess it means be rich and, you know, <laughs> I don't know what the fuck, but it, 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 it's just so stupid. You know, it's like, um, because this is it, you know, yeah. th this is it. Like the creating is such a blessing and to have James and for, for him to also know you so well and love you so much and to just be just this guiding hand that you need, oh, you know, to, to just let it flower in such the perfect way, you know, and, yeah. and, and, and that, that, so that relationship is like so incredible too. And this relationship with your sister and just to let it happen. That's like, that's dream come true. That's dream come Shout true. Shout out to James, man, because he, I yeah. gave it to him like a couple, like about maybe about a month ago. And how we, we really like, we, we like, like I said, we got to work and I told him I want to release it on her birthday on, you know, that's ju mm. uh, July 22nd. I'm like, I want to do that. And he's like, I think we can do it. You know, let's, let's, let's do it. We locked in and we got it done. So <laughs> really excited about that, man. So my, thank birth you guys. my birthday like, is July 25th. I'm, th I'm Thursday. Oh, happy Ooh. early birthday, my friend. Shit, man. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> man honestly and thanks for having me dude like honestly yeah well you know i love a... you man and i tell you i'm so happy that you've come through this the way you did because i i always i get a little nervous but i have such a you know bad drug packs myself i'm like mm, i don't keep my eye on kid barrett you know i'm look, oh, looking no, at, sure. look at his tiktoks i'm making sure he's not getting too wasted on this no 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 <laughs> and you know it's funny thank thankfully i'm not you know i I, you know, I have a couple of drinks here and there I, when I'm out, you know, like I'm not, yeah, I've same thing. Like I said, I've gone through a lot with my past where I'm like, you know what? I got to keep my head straight. Mm. I got to, uh, you know, do it for her. Like, I don't, I know yeah, she yeah, would yeah. hate to see me just like, oh, fuck it. I'm going to go shoot up now. You know? <laughs> like Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah. Well, just, I was, so, you know, I was so, so happy to see that band. you came. Yeah. I was so happy to see that you came through it so, in this way. Thanks, man. I, you know, yeah. I've been giving myself, I listen to my body a lot. You know, I just like, um, trying to push forward on a, in a healthy direction. Like yeah. I said, something she would want me to do for sure. And are, uh, do you think you're going to play uh, this song live when you do your live? Yeah, I think. And that's the whole point of this is like why I, like, I didn't want to make this a song where it was just, um, 
like I said, so the one off specific. Thing, so, yeah. It's universal. It's for everyone yeah, who's yeah. experienced grief. You know, I'm sure yeah. anyone who's experienced grief is gonna understand that feeling of coldness, but also mm you know being happy i just saw two birds fly across right now so there you go you know, honestly <laughs> she's here with us man we're always connected yeah. me and you will always be connected um you know and same thing with james like we're all just on this plane together i want uh, i'm definitely gonna play it live it's it's gonna be it's gonna be a, a good time for yeah sure. that'll be special yeah yeah well congrats man <clears throat> thank you bud and thanks for having huge, me again. Uh, like, huge uh, artistic uh, victory and uh yeah, just uh, love you and everything you do, man. But this, this love you too, buddy. Really, Appreciate really you and can't really wait to hear special. your new stuff too. Yeah, talk to you soon, my brother. Talk to you soon, buddy. Thanks for having me. Oh shit.